I was actually about to start reading this. <laughs> it's so hard to break the habit of, like, reading all the dialogue in a game because I'm... That's what I normally do in playthroughs. I don't know what I just said. Eden. That's what the... I called it the digital world earlier, and then it was like, not the digital world, it's the weird virtual reality thing Kamashira has set up. It's called Eden. All right, we done here, boys. See you later, nerds. What's up? How you doing? Three point fifth floor. What a incredibly aptly named location. This game would benefit so much from just like a you press the options button, it's like skip all dialogue, and you're like, yes. It would just like take this game from like an eight out of ten to like a nine out of ten. Yeah, you uh, you done there? About th yeah, still talking, huh? Of course, it's always about to pay with her. She's an employee. She needs money, man. Got to get that bread. Oh, what is this? Ah. Uh Uh-huh. Oh. All right, well, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they never mentioned that whole 3.5th floor thing ever again, so that was really weird to have that show up at the very end. Yeah, even just, like, the fast-forward through dialogue that Persona games have would also be fantastic. Oh, hey, it's Kay. How you doing? I bet you like Donkey Kong. I'm sure you do. Alright, well, that went by quickly. Ah, to the open space we go. What could possibly go wrong? Definitely not a trap or anything. Oh, before we go, I should put uh, Tank Mon back up front. Do -do -do. I should also heal Garurumon Black in the Digilab. Let's go. K is a typical DK main. Yeah, man. All right, now we go to the open space. I think we have a boss fight here? I don't remember. Ba -ba. Open space, here I come. This is the free area, my mistake. Wrong spot. I would instead like the open space, thank you. How's this place abandoned? Oh no! Security alert! Oh, it's Reptile Dramon. What's up, my dude? Fancy pink outline you have there. Where did these other two come from? They weren't part of the summoning. Are all three of these Vaxxin? That's gonna make stuff rough, if true. Not shock! Alright, well, if anyone's gonna get shocked, Leomon, I guess, is the best. Well, no, the best choice would have been, uh, Garurumon Black, but what are you gonna do? Well, let's focus on the Garurumon first. Nice and damage up. Free area, open space, whatever. Same difference. Oh, good, you die fast. Honestly, in that case, I want to leave you for, like, Fist of the Beast King to take you out. So I'm going to try and kill the Bergeron immediately with Hyper Cannon. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it would be, actually. I think the Reptile Drawn is going to be the only actual threat. I love Reptile Drawn's design. He's a very cool Digimon. Fist of the Beast King, by the way. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Go ahead and, uh... Heal yourself with this. I'd rather use one of these than have to use another revival capsule. 
Plus, you can't do much damage here anyway. Really wish you would have speed charged yourself. Gotta wait for this recoil to run out. Ambush crunch? That sounds painful. That looked very painful. Thankfully, you targeted, like, the person who was most likely to not take damage from it. Other than Tankmon, I guess. Ow. Alright, goodbye. And now, this should be the easiest money ever made. Hyper Cannon. Oh, dude. Like, beyond the easiest money ever made. Not the Ambush Crunch! Ow. My feelings. You're gonna die to the Fist of the Beast King. Guaranteed. You suck it. Oh, damage up? It's over. True Blue, welcome to stream, dude. It's going good for me, man. How are you doing? Having a good day? I hope. It's true in Digimon as well. Guns kill birds. It's a universal truth. So far, my opinion of the main characters in Zestaria is why do they have to be so naive? Yeah. Zestaria has, like, fun gameplay, and uh, its music is, like, phenomenal. Like, Zestaria has some really great music. Is that Mephisto's mask? Yeah. I think it is. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, no, it's the demon's den. Get me out. I don't want to... I don't want this in my life. But, uh, the characters are, like, meh. The majority of the characters in Zestaria are, like, either meh or just not very good. There's, like, one or two, like, good characters in Zestaria. And then the story in Zestaria is just a mess. What is this new area? Kowloon 2. Okay, whatever. Well, Demon's Den, here we go. Uh, 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 this, 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 this. No, no, no. Actually, shoot me. His theme music is sick. I'll give him that. But man, I hate him. Yeah, Zavid and Edna are like the only good characters in Zestaria's cast. I agree. All of the other characters in Zestaria's cast are either like okay or just not even good. True Blue, you're sick and had to miss two days of school because of it. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I hope you're uh, feeling better or will feel uh, feel better soon, man. I will never cosplay as Jimmykin. I would rather die. Stop talking to me. It's even worse that sometimes they talk in English. Hi, what's up? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just go do whatever you just said to Zaxxon, sure. Forgot Zestaria existed and thought Chaos was talking about Berseria. No, absolutely not. Berseria is leagues better than Zestaria. And, like, Berseria's cast is great. Like, Magalu is, like, eh to not very good. And other than that, and then Lapiset is, like, okay to kind of good. And then, like, Eleanor, Rokuru, uh, Rokuro, however you say his name, uh, Aizen especially, Aizen and Velvet especially, are all great characters. And Zavid, like, the best character from Zestaria, shows up in Berseria. So, and Berseria's story is actually, like, good and makes sense and has logical progression. Berseria is just, like, is better than Zestaria in just about every way, except... Uh, their music is kind of, like, on par with one another. Like, Berseria's music is really good, but Zestaria's music is also really good. But Zestaria is not a very great game. Berseria is an amazing game. What am I doing? <laughs> Let me go talk to Mirai. Hello. What am I doing? Oh, I have to go to the Zaxxon Forum. Right, right. I'm on it. Oh, Ryuji is with me now. Let's go, Ryuji. Let's do this. Hit me up with ye olden Zaxxon Fools. Let's get it. Hello. Thanks for just letting me in here. Wait, I have to go find you or Faye now? 
All right, so I gotta go to Kowloon. Got it. I want that. Mine. Thank you. Ah, oh, the Fey memory. Very important. I don't know if I'll bother watching the memories again in this playthrough since I already did it in the first playthrough and it doesn't really pertain to anything important overall. But we might. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, it is, like, impossible to see better Mystic Arts in Berseria unless you control the character, and it's hard to switch up the fighting styles. Especially because Velvet's fighting style is so much fun, I'd rather just play as Velvet the whole game, which is what I did. But, you know, that's kind of, like, whatever. It would be nicer if the AI was a little bit smarter and able to pull off their high-level Mystic Arts, but... At the same time, I don't think it's a huge deal. But it would have been nice, yeah. Why can I not just, like, step onto Tankmon and let him take me around? My favorite Tales of game is Tales of Zillia. Followed very, very closely by Tales of the Abyss. Because they are both phenomenal. Yeah, Berseria's storyline was amazing. Berseria was just, like, especially coming out of Zestaria, after Zestaria was so just, like, not good. Like, at best, Zestaria was an okay game. And it was only okay because the gameplay was really fun and it had good music. Like, the story and characters were just not great. But coming out of Zestaria with Berseria, which is, like, my third favorite Tales of game, for sure, and is just phenomenally good, was uh, incredible. Favorite Tales of character? Singular character? It might actually be Luke from Tales of the Abyss. If we're talking about one singular character, I think it's Luke from Tales of Abyss. Of the Abyss. Uh, like, if I'm allowed to put two characters together, I love Jude and Mila, but I love them more, like, side by side than I like them separate. I do really like them separate as well. I think they're great characters on their own also, but Jude and Mila together is what really makes both of their characters, like, it really makes their characters, I don't know, pop, I guess, is what really makes them great. Luke is an amazing character just all on his own. And also he has Ash, but Ash is, like, kind of him. It is weird, but I, I think Luke is probably my favorite singular character. Followed very closely by Gaius from Zillia. Like, those are my two, like, favorites. I really like uh, Luke and Gaius. And then, uh, like, Jude and Mila together is, like, my favorite. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Yuri from Vesperia is pretty cool. I like Yuri from Vesperia. It's unfortunate that I didn't like Vesperia overall very much. Between the gameplay and the storyline being weird. But... The characters in Vesperia were pretty good. Or at least a few of them were. Yuri specifically. Yuri was a very good character. I wish he was in a game that had a better storyline. Or at least a storyline that I liked more. Oh, Vivod probably needs to Digivolve. I totally forgot about that. I love Velvet. I think her fighting style is basically spam buttons until you win. I haven't played... Berseria in a little while, but I think it kind of sounds like you don't know how to combo with Velvet. <laughs> it's definitely like, set up your buttons to the combo you want, and then like, spam that combo, because that's the combo you set up that works well. But from what I remember of Berseria, you could set up multiple different combo types, and then you needed to use whichever one was best in the moment. And make it work. I don't remember it just being button spam. Huh? So I haven't played a Tales of game? I would recommend looking into one. Berseria is a really good one to start with. I think Berseria is a great one to be your introduction. Chaos seems to hate all kids in video games. Not true! I like Nanako. Nanako is like one of the only not super... Oh, I have Acceleration! The Dream! I didn't realize I would have that already. Nanako is cool. But most children from video games are trash. Nanako is an exception to the rule. Was I supposed to go to Kowloon 1 instead of Kowloon 2? Will you ever go back and do the Mila route in Tales of Zillia? Absolutely, yes. I'm actually planning on doing it in the not-too-distant future. I don't know when exactly, but I do want to do that, like, one day soon. 
Also, I just want to, I also want to replay the Jude story, to be honest, on the channel, because it's such an old playthrough on the channel. But, uh, definitely when I go back, I'll do the Mila story first, and then replay Jude's story on the channel some other time. For, like, an NG+. Plus. Like, I want to do Mila's story without NG plusing it, and then I want to do Jude's story again sometime, and NG plus Jude's story, and do that. But I absolutely am planning to play Tales of Zillia again one day. Like, with the, probably, I would expect it to happen sometime in the next year. And by in the next year, I mean, like, before 2021, is basically what I'm saying. Dude, acceleration is so amazing. I totally forgot about this until I accidentally looked at it. Okay, so what did you think of Theo from Pokemon Uranium? I played Pokemon Uranium, I think, two to three years ago. I honestly don't know who you're talking about. Yes! <laughs> it's, it's been too long since I played. You'd have to go look at my playthrough and see whatever I said about him, because I really don't remember. What is the difference between the routes? Uh, there are multiple times throughout the game. I think probably, there are probably like three or four major moments, and then a couple of more minor moments, where if you're playing as Mila, you get different interactions with characters, and also like there are times where Jude and Mila are split apart, so you see things that the other route doesn't let you see. But the main story and the main villain and everything is still the same, regardless of what route you play. Because like, I'd say for like, for like 80, maybe 85% of the game, Jude and Mila are together, and therefore you see the same stuff with them. And then about 15 to 20% of the game, they're separated, so you get different things happening depending on whose route you're playing. Probably more like eight, probably more like 80% they're together, 20% of the game they're apart, and so you see like a different 20% of the game if you're playing Mila's story, and then a different 20% if you're playing Jude's story because of them being separated. There are also some small moments. I remember someone telling me when I first played the game, when I was playing Jude's side, there's a moment where you just meet Alvin, who is one of the main characters. So you've got like Jude, Alvin, and Mila at the very beginning of the game, and they stay in an inn. And if you're playing Jude's story, you see a conversation that Jude and Alvin have because Mila goes to bed early. But then if you're playing Mila's side of the story, Mila wakes up early in the morning with Alvin, and while Jude is still asleep, you get to see a conversation between Mila and... Alvin. So there are a couple of small things that aren't that big of a deal that you get different between the two routes. And then there are a couple of moments where like Jude and Mila are separated for like two hours of gameplay or something. And so that two hours of gameplay is different depending on what route you're playing. Hard to buy games because there's so many games I still want to play. I feel that dude. That's understandable. Yeah, Jude and Mila are definitely my favorite, like, combo of Tales of characters. Rokuro and Aizen are also a really good combo, Lone Wolf. That's a good shout. They would definitely be up there for me as, like, combo characters, because the bromance between Aizen and Rokuro was amazing. Gaius is your favorite singular character? Totally fair. Gaius is probably my second favorite singular character, but I just... I love Luke's story in the game, and they do such an amazing job of making you be like, yo, Luke is such a lame character, I don't really like him, when you're playing through Abyss, and then like... And it's not like immediate where it changes. You get like 10... I think it's like 5 to 10 hours into playing Abyss, probably maybe even more than that. Probably it's around like 10 hours of playing Abyss, and then it's like, hey, we're gonna have Luke grow as a character and become one of the best characters, like the best protagonists in the tales of like existence and you're just like dude how did you do it i like i was either i didn't like luke or i was like luke is fine and now you've made luke one of the best characters of all time like how do you do it oh i was supposed to go through the firewall you dumb idiot uh all right we need to digivolve vmon i believe if he's able to yeah so we are eventually going to get magnamon i just want to reiterate this for people who don't understand this is eventually going to be Magnamon, but we can't become Ab uh, Magnamon without more Abby. And also, it would be really hard to Abby train Magnamon to Vmon repeatedly. So we're going to go Imperial Dramon for now and get to max Abby, and then we'll end on Magnamon. That is the plan. There we go. You remember when Cass found out he could play his guys in Zillia 2 and lost it? That sounds like me. I probably did. Getting to play his Gaius in Zillia 2 is amazing. I'm pretty sure I played his Gaius, like, for the majority of the... I remember playing through that game, and I would play as either Jude until I unlocked Gaius, and then I played as Gaius, like, for the entire time. 
and then uh, I would I would play as Gaius, but whenever the Chromatis filled up, I would switch to Luger, use the Chromatis, and then switch back to Gaius. Fun times. Alright, this is where we were supposed to be going. But, you know, we leveled up Vmon by going the wrong way and then got him to Digivolve, so that's good. Oh, no. It's this guy. Trying to focus. Been working to solve this puzzle for ages. How do I get a girlfriend? No, it's too real. It's too... I'm almost 30 and still single. You're gonna become a wizard, dude. You're gonna become a wizard. 